think it's so funny. This is the fact that I've never touched a hard drug in my life. I did when I was like 15 to 18. I did coke, ecstasy, shit that teenagers does, you know? Shit that teenagers do. Just because I got... Because I'm a fucking grown ass man And I have facial hair I guess people look I continuously hear that I look like a fucking meth head I look like I smoke drugs Like I smoke meth or something If you don't know what a fucking man looks like This is what a man looks like I can clean up I have, Yo, go check my Instagram Sincere Music Official Type that in the Instagram Go look Look at my Instagram. You can tell throughout my life, I've had a lot of money. I'm a clean cut, good looking dude. Healthy guy, you know what I'm saying? Always been like that. Never been a, a fucking junkie, all sick, and fucking blah, blah blah. The only thing that makes me sick is stress in this fucking world that I live in. So if I look sick, that's for me being stressed out because the world I live in is sick. You know what I mean? And that's the reality. But this this shit about uh, me being a fucking smoking meth. I've been hearing this shit for years. Listen, the most common thing nowadays that people use against you to try to uh, decredit you or disrespect you, you look like you smoke meth. Because meth is like the main fucking topic in the world right now. It's like the main thing taking over. Like, meth took over, you know? So that's the only thing fucking people can talk shit about you and say you look like you smoke meth you look like a drug addict blah 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 this shit is so corny by now you guys need to fucking like do something say something else like this shit's mad corny now you know what I'm saying like it's just it's just not it's not working you know what I'm saying this is my Instagram look at that do I look like I fucking smoke meth really why cause, cause I look like a man that's what a man looks like right there so people try to say that oh you you look like you're, like you do drugs do I really really look like I do drugs hold on hold on I smoke weed weed is a plant buddy chemicals are fucking drugs pharmaceutical pills are fucking drugs marijuana is not a fucking drug okay um <laughs> Right, if you still think like that, you're stuck in the fucking a thousand years ago fucking research. You need to uh, update your fucking uh, self and reassess. But anyways, see that? That chick right there made that picture for me. Sincere Music. I'm Sincere Music, by the way. I'm also an artist. This channel that I make, Corey Resilient, is separate from my music. And it's just something that I like to do. Expose corruption. I talk about real shit and rant about real shit. And piss a lot of fake ass people off. So check this out. Just keep watching. Look at that. Oh, man. Sexy ass motherfucker. Look at that guy. I say I fucking do drugs. But ain't nobody that looks like that. He, you can't be doing drugs and looking that good. You see that? I used to be a fucking goonie. Alright? You guys don't know a lot of shit about me. You know, but you can find out. If you look, never judge a book by its cover, never underestimate somebody, ever. It's the worst mistake you can make. So I'm gonna teach people a lesson about me right now. I See that? That's all me, bro. I was at my apartment, the last place that I was just at. That was me, I bought all that shit. That's how I eat, that's how I, I cook. You know, I cook meals, I cook salmon, I cook fish. I use coconut oil to uh, cook my food rather than butter, margarine, and fucking whatever. Does that look like a fucking meth head to you? Does that look like somebody that smokes crap? Or does drugs? Are you sure? Just because I may have not have shaved the day, don't ever make that mistake. Look, you see this? That's me right there. That's my money. Alright? Take a look. That's a thousand right there. It's a G note. Wi Fi is real slow, but you see what I'm saying? I've been getting money. Okay, you know what I mean? I used to sell drugs all my life since I was 14 years old. I was moving soft and hard, ecstasy. I had bitches running around selling my drugs for me. They wouldn't even take a $5 bill out of my shit. 
shit. Okay, I was making a thousand dollars a week online. I was selling roadside assistance for a company called MCA. And that's what that is about right there. You know, I guess I'm gonna have to teach people about me because <laughs> clearly uh, people are fucking retarded. You know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper. I've always been a smart guy. These motherfuckers can't play with me, bro. These people cannot diss me. Ain't nobody got shit on me. I keep my shit straight so nobody can ever use anything against me. Nobody's got no evidence or no proof of fucking anything because it doesn't exist. Alright? <laughs> but I've heard a lot of shit. I've heard a lot of shit. You see this guy? That guy look like he's, he does drugs. Check me out. You know what I'm saying? I'm on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Store, all that shit. My music's there. Search Sincere Music. Blue Badge Verified on Facebook. You see that? Except the fucking uh, government shut me down and disabled all of my accounts and fucking uh, now I can't access uh, my verified pages ever again. So now I'm going to dedicate the rest of my fucking life to destroying the government and destroying um, corruption and exposing it on a mass level scale. I'll go out like fucking Tupac. I don't care. Okay? It don't matter to me. I'll die for the shits, alright? And I'm so smart and ahead of the game that I got to watch all those people get clipped, like Tupac and all that shit. And I can learn from their mistakes, so I'm already a thousand fucking steps ahead of the game. You're gonna literally have to hire a fucking hitman to come walk right up to me when I'm in a public place and blow my fucking brains out in front of everybody. If you're willing, if you can go that far, then you might be able to get me. Maybe. And that's only if I'm not having a burner on me at the time. When somebody walks in and if I see them looking a little bit off, I'm already gonna be ready for that shit before it happens. And I'm gonna blow their fucking brains out. And I'll do the time, that's okay. It'll be in self-defense, I'll only get three to five years and I'll get out. Soft. It's light work, bro. Pay attention. See how, see how, see how I'm eating? It's all me, bro. It's all my shit. It's me eating. I eat, bro. I don't fucking play. I don't do drugs. Sharp young man. Eat him. Or I do drugs, though. But I'm living this type of lifestyle. I'm dressing well. I'm looking great. I'm eating great. I'm drinking great. Look at this, bro. This is how I eat, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo, these guys are so stupid, bro. That's my dad that passed away, by the way. That's me and my dad. I was 16 in this picture. I look just like him, man. Eh? Fucking crazy, eh? Yeah. That took a chunk out of me, man. That fucked me up for a long fucking time. You wonder why I look sick, man. I've been through so much shit. I can't even hear people complain, bro. I'll fucking slap someone if I hear them complain about life. They don't know what the fuck that struggle is about, bro. They don't know what that G shit's about, bro. I was selling crack when I was 14 years old, kicking doors off when I was 16, putting guns in people's mouths, bro. You guys don't know about me, man. Nobody knows about me because I keep it like that. They just look at me and think they know what the fuck is going on, bro. You don't know who you're looking at. You really don't. You have no fucking idea. If you did, fuck. You know who I was in real life? I'm the man, bro. Trust me. Been the man. Been the man, dog. Goonie. That's a goonie right there, bro. Trust me, man. Nobody can fuck with me, bro. Nobody. On no level. Government, gangsters, I don't care who you are. You know, I'm not saying I'm fucking, you know, I'm not fucking Takashi 6 9 and saying I can't get touched. Anybody can get touched. Even Tupac said, you know, that he can get touched. Well, actually, he's actually, he <laughs> said the same thing, but, you know. He 
did get clipped and shot twice in the head, three times in the body. He lived from that. Uh, as for after that, he did fake his death. Like Machiavelli had that shit planned out. But afterwards, we don't know what happened to him. He may have got clipped, and we would would have never known. I believe he was still alive after all that, and he did fake his death. But then later, a couple years later, after he faked his death wherever he was, in, if he was in Cuba or wherever the hell he was, um, I think maybe he eventually got clipped because he wouldn't be able to stay this quiet for this long. So he may, have, they may have caught him eventually. So I don't care, bro. I'm willing to die for this shit. I don't care. It doesn't matter. This life doesn't matter, man. It's the next life that matters, you know? And you gotta have Jesus if you wanna make it to the next level, bro. And that's a fact. That's me doing a shit. Show. That's me performing, bro. What do you mean, bro? Bro, what are these guys talking about? You know what I mean? I was, the, you know, it was my old team, you know, we were performing and all that, doing a live performance, you know, I'm an artist, keep looking, Just keep watching, it's all my shit, you know? this is me, this is me, and some fucking goof that betrayed me, some fucking loser named Attic365, fucking faggot, but anyway, these guys, these guys are all losers, I'm the only cool fucking guy ever <laughs> always you can just you can just tell by looking bro much if the Wi-Fi doesn't hate on us that's me right there in the middle right there rapping with the mic in the red come on Wi-Fi stop stop playing man I fucking sue Tim Hortons for the, for the Wi-Fi being slow that's a snake that's a snake that's a fucking snake all of them betrayed me all of them I've had family I've had everybody betray me bro I fucking losers, man. I should have slapped him for that. Walking in front of me, I should have punched him right off the stage. Fucking bitch. I sent him the ones that you sent me. Yeah. This guy's gonna scare me. I brush right by them, bro. Come on, man. Bro, learn about me, man. I'm an interesting fucking real motherfucker, bro. Real talk. And everybody hates that shit when I say that. Because they're a bunch of fake ass fucking clowns. And they don't want me to shout. They never wanted me to shine. Bro. I'm a child of God, bro. Every, they all hated Jesus too, and I'm from the same fucking bloodline, bro. That's a music video that I'm in. Well, it's my music video. It's my song, and that one of the birds is in there. One of the snakes is in there. Attic 360 fucking dude, and that's his son. Yeah, he's a G. That's my homie right there for life. He never betrayed me. <laughs> There's kids at G, eh? Look at this, man. Hold on. Wi Fi is being a hater. The ops are trying to stop stop me from that. <laughs> Come on, man. Play the, play the clip, please. <laughs> Yo, look at his attitude, eh? That kid's cool, man. Too bad his dad's a fucking good loser. That's me in the back, bro. This video is getting long, but yo, it's crazy, man. People don't know how fucking unique and rare and fucking cool I really actually am. Man. Like, I'm fucking different, man. I don't see anybody like me, man. I've been through it, man. I've been through it. I did everything, man. No, nobody can say shit to me, man. Ever. Ever, God. ever. Bro. Nobody. <laughs> bro, I'm a different breed, bro. They fucked up when they got me on this program, bro. That's why I'm on the program. It's because I'm a major threat, bro. I'm, they know I'm chosen. I've been chosen. You know what I'm saying? Believe me. You go ahead and go check me out, bro. See? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me.
I think it's a game. This guy's name is a joke. All these agents are gonna see this video now. Some fucking gang stalker plus holes. You know, hey, there's some enemies, some haters in the back. You know, what are you gonna say now? What are you gonna say now, bro? What are you gonna say now? I had all the money, I had all the bitches, I had all the bosses, I had all the gangsters around me. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bro. Like, nobody can say shit. To I love it, man. When I when I really think about it, I'm like, wow. Wow. Who, who, who can challenge me other than Jesus? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, Anyways, that's just a little, uh, you know, let you learn about me a little bit. You know what I'm but uh, yeah, man, look up my music, Google me, sincere music, whatever, man. I keep the music separate from this channel. My music fans, I don't let them know about this channel because this is different what I'm doing right now. They don't need to know about this yet until it blows up and I'm getting millions of views on these videos thanks to the help of you guys and my subscribers. Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to go big. You know what I'm saying? I need you guys to help sharing my videos. Stay tuned. You know, subscribe, please, and, and hit the bell so you have to get a notification when I make a new video. And, and, and just, you know, I'm going to keep... I'm gonna keep feeding you guys, man, because there's a lot. I have a lot to say and a lot to, to give. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, yeah. Um, Corey resilient, sincere music here. I don't do fucking drugs. I laugh at that shit. I just uploaded a video about um, uh, how addiction is not a disease and that's an illusion to keep you trapped in addiction. And go check that video out it's on my channel. So, anyways, don't let people fucking tell you who you are, man. That shit's a joke, bro. Ha! <laughs> Suck ass motherfuckers. They ain't got shit on. Nobody got shit on me, though. But I hear everything in the book. I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a this, I'm a I do this, I do that. Fuck out of here. Bro, you guys can't. This doesn't work with a real one. You can't do that to me. It don't work. It's never gonna work. And every time that I'm down and y'all motherfuckers just kick me when I'm down, I'm gonna be back up so fucking much heavier that you're gonna really, 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 really regret it. You guys are, you know, motherfuckers is gonna really regret fucking with me. Once I get my hands on the big money and the fucking power, that's why they're trying to kill me, bro. That's why they're trying to shut me down and fucking stop me because they know where I'm going and they don't understand that I have God on my side and there's no way to stop that. I'm resilient. You don't get it. It doesn't matter how much shit you throw at me. You can only slow me down and only for a certain period of time. There's nothing that anybody can do other than God himself. That's it. The only thing I fear is God. I'm a God-fearing God man. That's the only thing I fear. Nothing else can do nothing to me. You know? So anyways, yeah. There's a lesson for you. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. It doesn't matter if I'm looking a little bit rough right now or I'm down and out right now. It don't matter. I don't do drugs, motherfucker. <laughs> Yo, and it's it, yo. I, I'm about to make a power move in a minute too. You guys are gonna see me back up like that, getting money and doing my thing and making moves and shit. You'll, you'll see it. It's coming, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it all on this channel. Corey resilient. I gotta show everything, man. It's going down, bro. So.